Hello, welcome back. So today we're going to start Unit 9, Matrices and Systems of Equations, uh, starting with our basic matrix operations. A uh, matrix is simply a way of organizing numbers to set of corresponding rows and elements. So for example, something like this right here is a matrix. So there's just a bunch of numbers assembled in a row, columns, all that. And this organization we can use to solve things like systems of equations, which we'll talk about later on in this unit, as well as a bunch of other stuff you will see in future math and even science classes, uh, even computer programming classes, things like that. Uh, now, the dimensions of a matrix is going to be based off the number of rows and columns. So if a matrix has seven rows and three columns, it's called a seven by three matrix. So if I go back to the one I've just created right here, you can see there is row one, row two and row three, so we've got three rows. Column one, column two, column three, column four. Four columns, this would be a three by four matrix. Now when it comes to your basic adding and subtracting, we just simply need to make sure they're the same size matrix, same dimensions. Assuming they are, we just add and subtract the corresponding elements together. Very simple, very straightforward. So I have two by two matrices, matrices right here, so I can actually subtract them. So all we're gonna do is, we're just gonna simply do negative three minus negative four. We're gonna do four minus 12, negative nine minus eight, and negative five minus negative seven. So the corresponding elements in the same locations, first row, first column is the negative three and the negative four. They're gonna combine and everything else from there uh, obviously, the double negatives become pluses, so that becomes a 1, first row, first column, negative 8, negative 17, and then positive 2. So all we have to do there, just combining the elements, really just have to watch out for minus signs and negatives uh, throughout these kind of problems here. Something like this, you can clearly see they are not the same size. This first one has got two rows and three columns. This has... Um, three rows and two columns, they cannot add, so this would be an undefined summation. If they were the same size there, if I kind of move things around, then I would be able to add them, the corresponding elements together. Now, multiplying a matrix by a scalar, so this is now you're multiplying a number on the outside of the matrix to each number on the inside. You're pretty much thinking of this as a big distributive property. Uh, whatever number's on the outside distributes each element of the matrix on the inside. So here, if we define this as matrix T, uh, is this, well, we've got two rows and four columns, so our two by four matrix. We want to find 4T. You're just going to multiply each of those numbers by four. So we would get 32, 0, 12, negative 8, negative 4, negative 16, negative 8, and 36. And that's our value of matrix 4T. Simple distributive property to each of the individual elements. And that's all we have for your basic matrix operations. Nothing too crazy there. We're going to talk about the idea of multiplying two matrices together in the next video. That's going to be a little bit more complicated. Uh, you should also look on my other YouTube channel with the use of the TI-84. I'll show you how to put matrices into the calculator and how you can do these basic operations and then multiplication. Everything else we'll be talking about really in this unit in that video. Um, you'll find the basic operation adding and subtracting is not really going to be necessary for the calculus because you'll find it be much quicker just to do it by hand. But the more complicated operations, you will want to use that calculator for that. All right, so I'll see you next time for those videos.